I have not only goals of putting out, you know, clothes, uh, you know, consistently new designs and, and always just, just doing things that I'm psyched on. But I also want to take this brand and I want to do cool things with it for people in BMX. And I want to set great examples for, you know, people outside of BMX that might be going through a situation similar to what I went through. What's up, everybody? I am joined by my good friend, BMX legend, all around great guy, Scotty Kramer. Scotty, it is October 12th, 2020. What were you doing four years ago? Uh, four years ago, let's see, currently it's 3.34, so three-hour time difference. I was just getting like off of a plane in Las Vegas. Um, things were going actually pretty good at that point. Uh, YouTube channel was real successful. Um, <laughs> I was having a blast. But about three hours from now is when all hell broke loose and I uh, broke my neck. So it's the anniversary of the crash, which is... It's crazy because it's a sad day at the same time. But when you think about what happened and then I also think about all the things that have happened and how I'm here and I'm talking with you and I'm moving everything and I'm not that sad about it still. So um, it's definitely it's 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 interesting because it's it's changing every year for me of, of what the day means. And, you know, this year, this year, I feel pretty good about it. Well, congratulations on everything you've done in the past four years. I think from where we were, you know, four years ago to seeing you today, this is incredible. You know, we all followed your journey and it's, you know, what you've, you, what you've done wasn't supposed to happen. You're supposed to be in a way different spot than you are and you've worked really hard and come a long way. Um, but icing on the cake, you're announcing something pretty cool today and I'll just let you take it. What, what, what are you announcing today? Yeah, so today is a, a big day, and maybe maybe the reason why I'm announcing this today is part of the reason why I feel so good about this, you know, the day. You know, you, you just said, you know, of where I was supposed to be to where I am right now, uh, it's 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 unbelievable. You know, the video I put out today on the anniversary, you know, I put it's you'll never ride again. It's a Scotty Kramer comeback story so far, four years later, and the fact that I am doing what I'm doing, whether I'm Riding my road bike, I did 45 miles on my road bike straight, you know, a couple of weeks ago, which is crazy. I'm riding my BMX bike. I'm starting to do jumps again. I just did like this wall ride again. Like I'm, I'm having fun and I'm, I'm able to live a pretty normal life. You know, there's still a couple of things that are slowing me down from being completely normal, but I can be normal, so to say. And, you know, today's day, today is, this is a big day for me because in my journey, in my comeback story, this is a pivotal point where I'm starting to make goals and, and I'm making things that I'm looking forward to. And I started a clothing company today, one that I've been working on for such a long time. And I'm so glad to announce that I started canceling down clothing and it's a really big deal for me. And this is something that's been in the works for a while. Now, a lot of people, you know, we're always wondering, you know, because it seems like if you have a successful YouTube channel, you need to start making merch right away. I hate that word merch. I think that is like, that is like the ultimate like sellout word to me in a way. Like it's, I didn't make my YouTube channel to sit there and make money off of every single way I possibly could. The fact that I was able to make money off of YouTube by just putting up videos of me having fun you know, with my friends, being able to pay my friends to be in the YouTube channel, that was awesome. But the fact of like going to make merch and stuff, like that was never me. That's why I never did it. So I, I, I'm really you know, careful of not throwing that word around, especially with what I'm trying to do. You know, I'll show you guys right here. I know this is the sweatshirt that I did. This is Cancel Down. That's our logo right there. Um, it's a C, there's an S and a D. So there is a little bit of design to that. And my idea with this brand is to motivate myself. I want to inspire and motivate myself every day when I see that logo and I see that brand of pushing myself as far as I possibly can and trying to see what I can do with this gift of a second chance that I've been given. I have the opportunity right now to be able to possibly get on my bike and do something awesome again. Like, And I want to work to get there. I want to you know, start putting my fitness into play, making time, you know, focusing on that and seeing how far I can take my body and, 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 and see what I can do with this opportunity, man. Like I am excited about the future. 
I set a ridiculous goal in this in this video that that went up today of me wanting to do a backflip again, and I'm going to do that. And and a lot of people, you know, especially people that don't understand BMX, they're like, oh, you know, straight away, like my wife, my mom, when they hear backflip. But uh, I know from experience that a backflip is very achievable because it's a lot of technique and it doesn't take a lot of strength to do it. So like, I know I can do this, but I'm not going to go and just send this thing like a, like, you, you know, a, like some kind of crazy, you know, thrill seeker. I'm going to strategically build my body up to get strong enough to do this. And I'm going to also strategically build my, you know, riding, um, you know, situation to get there. Like I'm going to get the right foam pit. I'm going to build the right ramp. That's going to be perfect for what I'm going to attempt this backflip on, you know, for not sending me too high in the air, sending me just high enough. And so I don't land like a ton of bricks. Like there's going to be a lot of thought that goes into this and I know I can pull this off. And that's why I set this goal. I don't know how long it's going to take. I'm not going to put a time on it saying that, Oh, I'm going to be doing it by this time next year. It's a possibility that I do it within within a year and or maybe even sooner. But I don't want to put a time on it just in case it's coming a little bit slower than I expected because I'm not going to rush anything. This is all going to be on my terms now. I'm I'm doing this for myself and it's going to be an awesome journey. Well, congratulations on deciding to uh, do a backflip. That's, you know, once again, for your anniversary. I don't think any of us saw that coming. So, uh <laughs> But your riding has come a long way and I've seen it firsthand, you know, and I know it's a lot of small steps when you look at where you were not that long ago to what you're doing on a bike now. I believe you when you say that. And that's one of the things, uh, and you've always been this way, and I think it's a gift and a curse. You're very extreme with commitment. You know, when you say you're going to do this, it means something. When you say you're going to be one of the best bike riders in the world, you're going to do it. When you're going to start a YouTube channel, you're going to go all in. And that's one of the things that I think is so enticing about you starting a clothing company. It's not going to be an occasional drop right? It's going to be something you're literally committed to. And you're taking that same Scotty Kramer mindset that's got you where you are today. And you're going to apply it to can't slow down. Am I correct in assuming all of this? Of course. Yeah, it's because you know me so well. It's just, it's just who I am. It's, it's what I am. I, I always commit to things. I don't, I don't like doing things that, that, that fall short. You know, like I have not only goals of putting out, you know, clothes, uh, you know, consistently new designs and, and always just, just doing things that I'm psyched on, but I also want to take this brand and I want to do cool things with it for people in BMX. And I want to set great examples for, you know, people outside of BMX that might be going through a situation similar to what I went through. I want to, I want to, I want that brand to rep, to represent that, you know, that kind of lifestyle of, of everything that I represent, you know, like I, I, I want to make uh, opportunities for, for, to get kids involved, you know, like um, I'm going to do things on my channel where like, I don't want to give too much away, but like, I'm going to give opportunities for, for kids. You know, when I say kids, I mean kids, but also, you know, guys that are, you know, close to my age to, to, represent the brand you know it's going to be something that i have in the works uh video wise it's going to come together you know in the next couple of weeks hopefully and um it's just going to be fun and and this is this is me now i'm i want cancel down to to you know when you think of my name i want you to think of uh, cancel down at the same time and uh, this is something that i'm really excited about this is this is not only motivation for me to keep on bettering myself but it's me to to find enjoyment and purpose and to keep on pushing so Can't Slow Down is officially live today. People can actually go buy some clothing today. Where can they buy it and where can they follow it? And where can they just get all the updates for everything that's coming in the future? All right. So cancelowdown.com is the website to, to buy Can't Slow Down clothing. Um, all the updates are going to be done through, you know, my YouTube channel. That's going to be clearly the, the main hub and my Instagram. Um, so, but also if you add on to the mailing list that's on Cancel Down, you will know when the drops are coming 24 hours before it goes into the video. So that's kind of cool. So you can get them before everybody else. Um, but it's, this is really exciting stuff, man. Like me and you have been talking about this for a while. I let, I let Kyle know, you know, what I've been doing and I'm so glad that I'm finally able to, to, you know, make this announcement and on, you know, a, a day that was infamous for so long. Now I want this day to have a positive reason for it. And, and I think that I'm achieving that man. And it feels really good. Well, there you have it. Can't slow down clothing, can't slow down.com. Congratulations on that, Scotty. And an additional congratulations, because as you probably saw, you were once again, the most popular writer on vital BMX in the audience survey. 
So oh. people think you're pretty cool. Thank you for that. I, it, it means a lot. Um, you know, a, a lot of people, you know, that n- know me and know my channel and know how passionate I am about BMX. You know, I'm glad that that show is still through the videos and people are still excited about my riding and excited about me being involved in BMX. And, and I, I don't, I don't take that, you know, lightly. I, that's a, that's a big deal for me. And that motivates me to keep on pushing myself and keep on pushing the sport of BMX. So thank you. Scotty, let's get that backflip done. I'm going to, I'm going to do it, Kyle. I promise you, I don't know when, but it will happen. Well, congratulations on everything um, from four years to today. It's been a crazy, crazy, crazy journey. I think where you are now is is absolutely incredible and uh, very proud of you. And I know the BMX world is as well. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get better from here. And, uh, you know, we're on a great path. So let's keep it up. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Kyle. I appreciate it.